I'm here with Ozzy and what we're doing is wait for the water bowl. So what I'm looking for is a nice sit and wait patiently while I put this bowl down on the ground. You can see he's excited about it, so I want to make sure that I'm very clear about what I expect for his behavior. So he's in a nice sit now. I'm going to give him that wait hand signal. Wait. Okay, very good. So he can already get marked off on that tier sheet for the wait for the water. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to mark it off and we'll see you in the next video. Back with Aussie, what we're working on now is loose leash walking. So I fitted him for that harness and got it appropriately um, fitting now. So before it was a little bit too tight, we loosened it up a little bit and it seems to be feeling uh, pretty good on him now. So what we're gonna focus on with this loose leash walking is keeping Aussie on the left side. When you're walking him at home, you can walk him on the right side or the left side, it doesn't matter. It just matters that you try to keep him on that side for the entire walk. So you wanna keep him uh, on one side or the other. I'm gonna keep him on my left for this one. And then I'm looking to keep a nice J shape in the leash. So keeping um, a nice looseness there, not um, following a tight leash, and then uh, working with him when his leash is uh, tight to get it back to being loose. So I'm gonna grab a couple of treats here that I know he likes, and we're gonna get started. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna show him that I have something good to offer, and then I'm gonna bring it up to my side here. So I don't wanna be having it down here and luring him along. I want him to make the choice to walk nicely and then get reinforced for it. So we're gonna take a couple steps and if he can maintain that nice looseness in the leash, he's going to get reinforced. So I'm gonna feed him that treat. Come on, Ozzy. Good, so you see how he's crossing behind me there already? We don't want that. So I'm gonna get him back on the left side. Good. And I'm gonna reinforce him. Most dogs over time will stay on the side where the reinforcement is coming. So if I'm gonna feed on the left, that's where my dog should stay. Good boy, here. Yes. Awesome. Yes, good boy. Good boy, Ozzy, awesome. yes. Good boy, Ozzy. Awesome. Boy. So he's doing well so far. Not too much pulling. So if he was to pull, I'm just going to stop, bring him back. Ozzy, come on back. Good. And then we're going to start walking again. If he can walk nicely, then he can get some treats. If he continues pulling, right, so he goes back to pulling, I bring him back. Come on, Ozzy. And then take a few good steps and try to reinforce. If we go through this, um, behavior of he pulls on the leash and then comes back, pulls on the leash and then comes back, then what I'm going to try to do is head in a direction that I know he's not going to pull and reinforce his behavior there. Here, Ozzy. Good. Yes. Good boy. Last one. Very good. Awesome. Here. So we're going to keep working on this skill um, inside before we take it outside and we will be back with you in the next video. I'm here with Aussie, and what we're gonna do right now is work on down. So, I'm gonna bring him over here. Aussie! Hi, handsome. Hey, Bubba. Hi, Jiggle. Okay. Aussie! Hi, Bubba. Here's your cookie. So, he's a little bit shy, but we already knew that. So, let's see if I can work from the side here. And what I'm doing with the treat is I'm taking it from nose down to the toes on the ground. And when uh, the dog gets their elbows and chest on the ground, that's when we're going to reinforce um, him for a nice down. Good. Yes. Good. So even just a little bit of bending is fine. We can go ahead and just guide him into that position and reward the whole way. Eventually, we're going to get that nice down. Those over there. There you go. Good boy. Good. So it's the first time that I'm working with him. So naturally he's going to be a little weary of me and that's okay. Very good boy. Good. So that's a good start for that down. Again, taking that treat from nose down to the toes, making sure that he maintains that sit. If he wants to get up for any reason, you just take the treat away, get him back at a sit, and then try it again. And the goal, the goal here is, or the key here is you want to make sure that you're just nice and patient. So if you try to rush and get him into that down, 
um, you're going to be unsuccessful most of the time. Yeah, good. So you want to just take your time getting your dog into that nice down. Good job. Yes, good. Good down. Good. So I'm going to start associating that word down when he's in that position. But as I'm moving, I'm not going to say that word because I don't want to associate um, me luring him into that down with the down cue. Just the finished behavior. Good down. Good. So let's see if he can do that same thing if I stand up versus kneel. That's it. That's it. There. Yep. Elbows and chest. That's it. Good down. Good. We'll break up these trees here. Good. Let's see you get that down again. Good down. Excellent. Last one. Okay. Yeah, you can play. Sit. Yep. Yes, good. Nice down there. So we're going to keep working on down with him. You can see that he's starting to come along pretty nicely and starting to get more comfortable with me as I do more repetitions and more training with him. So I'm going to keep working um, on that down and we will see you in the next video. I am here with Aussie and what we are working on is a confidence boosting course with obedience skills included. So you're going to see that blue mat on the floor that is for trying to get our puppies to lay down. The hoops are for building confidence, so getting them around something that's a little bit odd, maybe something they haven't seen before, and then getting them through it, so jump through that or step through it. And then the uh, cone at the end is just to see if we can get our puppies to sit at our side versus in front of us. So let's see if we can get Ozzy to do some work for us. Let's see if we can get that sit, and then into that down. There we go, elbows and chest, we worked on that already this morning, very good. So now here comes the hard part, getting through these hula hoops. And it don't really matter which way the dogs go, I just want them to get close to it. And if they're only comfortable getting close and taking treats from near the cone, that's okay. We can always expand on that. It's just a matter of being brave enough to come and get that treat and work through some of the fears and feel good about it. So when you're at home, you can also teach your dog some of these things. You don't have to have these fancy holders or hula hoops. If you have like a, a broomstick and just stack it on top of some pillows and create a little jump, you can get your dogs walking over that as well. Okay, so he's a little nervous with that one. We're gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna try to get him to take some treats being near this. Fuzzy, here we go. So we can get them on the other side to take some treats. Yeah, we got it. And again, we're not pushing or trying to rush the dogs into being comfortable. If they're not comfortable, that's okay. We just let them work at their pace. Can you do a sit? Excellent, Aussie. All right, let's go to the next one. Aussie! Here. Good. So again, letting him eat some, some of the treats near this hula hoop, this weird looking thing, is totally acceptable. Side. Make the treat on the side. There you go. And we're going to finish with a down on that mat again. Ozzy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Good boy. Excellent. So he was able to do some of the course. Not necessarily are we trying to achieve him jumping through the hoops just yet. We just wanted to be comfortable. So we're going to keep working and we will see you in the next video. All right. So we're here, here with Charlie and Ozzy. You guys are, these guys are new friends. And so I'm going to see if I can get Ozzy to work a little bit with Charlie. Charlie's been here a couple of times now, and he understands the name of the game. He's able to work in multiple groups and individually. So I want to see if I start working with Charlie, if Ozzy will get on board with that too. Puppies, yeah! Here! Good, Charlie. And here comes Ozzy. Let's see if we can get that nice sit for both of these guys. Sit. Good, Charlie. So nothing from Ozzy yet. He's definitely interested. Let's see if we can get a step from there. Yay, good job, Ozzy. Excellent. I love that he's able to work around Charlie. So let's change the angle. Charlie! Ozzy!
give me a paw, I want the touch with the nose. Touch. So not too close there. Sit. Watch me. Excellent. Good. So we're going to ask him to wait. Good. Touch. Watch me. Excellent. Down. Charlie, down. <laughs> You're so silly. Down. There we go. Can you do that? Sit. Touch. <laughs> he wants to give me that paw. So we have to work on that touch cue. You see that? We'll do that in individual training. Let's do another one. We're going to do a wait and take for the treat. 